Hello. I'm Captain Vile. Welcome to Dark Souls. You guys selected we play as Faith, uh, like a cleric. So I've made the cleric with a dent in his head. <laughs> we don't really like change the build. This isn't like uh, miracles only. We can't really do that. We need to use like the uh, flail. But I will like imbue it so it does like miracle damage. I guess. Gift. I'm gonna do the master key. I'm going to skip Blight Town. Maybe. I don't know. If you guys get, like, annoyed at me skipping Blight Town, maybe we'll go do Blight Town. But, God, I don't want to do Blight Town. It's so bad. Um, anywho, what should we name him? While playing through... What's it? Uh... Last year of Nostalgia, I came up with the character of the Golden God. And uh, whenever I got mad... So, I think we'll try and do that. So we'll do, like, what's gold? What's, like, a name stand-in for gold? Uh, oh, G G not Gary. Gary Goldman? It's kind of funny. Yeah, sure. Man. Gary Goldman? Do I have space? I'm gonna take out an R. Gary Golden Man. Gary Golden Man. I like that better. Alright. Start game with the character. Hope you're not watching this in a dark room. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed. Shrouded by fog. Seems like there's a formed world right there. There's a bunch of trees. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. The first of the dead. Dead, he's right there. He's moving around. This lady's lying to us. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. That's what we're going to be doing. Mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. 
remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark sign. Which is basically just immortality. Oh, there we go. No seamless transition to gameplay for you. <laughs> Book of Guilty. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing very much online stuff. If any at all. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the night. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. <gasps> it's me. This Look super freaking dirty. That is not the guy I designed, but he still has his signature den. That's the important character design. Hi. I haven't eaten in days. But, uh, that no, that's uh, Arkham. Arkham Asylum, that's where we are. I've played this game so many, so many times. Yeah, Arkham... I mean, yeah, there's Killer Croc right there. Then we got, uh... has like Penny Pincher or whatever. Uh, fun fact, if you ever see a giant penny in the Batcave, then Penny Pincher has canonically been crushed to death by a comically oversized penny. Batman just took it. That's a fact, by the way. Also, since we're already talking about Arkham Asylum, let's just get the obligatory Captain Vile mentions the Riddler in one of his series. Because I'm serious. Like, over half of, like, the series and playlists or whatever I, like, make... If you get far enough into something, I will mention the Riddler. So we're just getting it out of the way now. Until I go on a huge rant about him like, later. Also, I, I've, I've played this game so many times. I've played this game a hundred times. On my Switch, not on this. No, we're not going to be fighting him, don't worry. Not yet, anyway. I haven't got my mace yet. That, <laughs> um, because it says, like, the wrinkles on his nose. He looks like, what is his name? I don't know his name. Editing Captain Vile knows what I'm talking about, hopefully. But he's, he's from Star Wars. He's a con man who I think owns, like, um, I don't know. It's like a spaceship store. Maybe he was in the prequels. Ow. Yeah, sorry everyone. First kill was not used doing miracles because we literally don't have miracles that can kill yet. My bad. What's up, bucko? 
I don't have time to listen to your rant. But why? I just told you why, stupid. You can call me a monster in the comments, but I mean, we have a schedule to keep. When I played this, like, the first time, uh, I think it was when I was still doing 10-minute videos. Like, that's how old the Dark Souls playthrough was on the channel. Hang on, hang on, can I... Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Bing. That I think as soon as like the cutscene ended in the first Dark Souls video, after I did the stupid Spongebob joke, uh, I literally just ended the video after the cutscene. Because like, well, that's all the time we have. Bye. That was a terrible YouTuber back then. Good thing I've improved since then, right? No souls from him. Nuts. Anyway, time to master the legendary plunging attack. Like so. This boss is now ridiculously easy. Now, Captain Val, you know, you shouldn't, um, lock on to the boss. I don't care. I don't care. My playthrough, not yours. Hmm? Huh? Who's playing the game? Comments? I, I keep acting as if the comments are always really hostile, but I have some pretty nice comments there. Commenters are not rude to me. Yet. I, I have a feeling one day it might happen. I get snarky know-it-alls that I imagine are in the comments. But so far, nope. That stomping, that's him down there. We can come back here and fight Killer Croc. And by the way, you want to know exactly how much I play this game way too much? Way, way too much. You're going to be sick of me saying that, but I know... Like, oh, jeez, I've done so many challenge runs of this. I probably could do, like, miracles only. But I'm not, because we're it's just Dark Souls, but we're doing a faith build, right? I'm not doing a challenge run of Dark Souls. I don't want to... Let me just... Chosen by the bird. But let me just list you some of the Dark Souls challenge runs I've done on the Switch. Um, over encumbered entirely. I just had... I just wore, like, Havel's armor or, like, Smo's armor. And had, like, Havel's rock equipped or whatever. And several other things I just had in my offhand. I just tanked everything and then, like, slammed bosses. Uh, yeah, that's the only one I could think of. I haven't played it in years. I've also not played this in years. However, I assure you I'm going to be super duper skillful and super duper cool. Because I know all the tricks. I know how to get to Undeadburg super, super early. And that's what we're going to be doing. Like... You're meant to go... Howdy. In Lordran. Mm -hmm. Meant to go over there, but I don't want it. Okay, first things first. Get faith up. No, maybe not that much. Maybe get some vitality. Does dexterity increase your casting speed, or is that just in the later games? I keep talking about how, oh, I play this game oh so too much, and I'm asking questions like that. But, eh, whatever. Oh, right, it's... Oh, hang on, I can't jump. Oh, that's because it's... Tap A again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The improvement on the god-awful jump button is in, like, Dark Souls 2 and 3. Like I just said earlier. I keep talking about how I play this game too much, and I'm like, oh right, that's in this one. Well, whatever. Growing pains from the start of a new series. 
Here's why you pick the Master Key Children, or at least Thief, and then you can pick, like, Fire Bombs or something else. So that's why I pick Master Key. Because of sequence breaking. Captain Vile, no, 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 you're cheating. You're cheating by doing this. Really? Then why did the game give me the option to do this, hypothetical commenter, straw man? That's the jump one. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Hello, dragon. Don't pick up the shield, but you can pick up this. And to be a-okay. Now I can level up way more. Just gotta be cautious of the drakes. Because they are god-awful. Look at this fin platform. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was a wanky enemy with a wanky hitbox? Whose tail you can, like, walk on? And it will affect your movement? That would be very cool, wouldn't it? We should absolutely put that in the remake of the game. But I'm gonna be honest. Why does it look like this? This is a remake. I always thought this came out in like 2012, right? But no, it didn't. This came out after Dark Souls 3. This came out af- I want to say that again if you, if you don't know. This came out after Dark Souls 3. Not in, I'm not a huge graphics are amazing guy, but... Oh well. It feels somewhat confusing. I'm grabbing this just for the novelty. We're not going to be using it. Hello. Ow. I can't really parry him. You know what? I'm... That's not what I want to do. Feeling bold. Parry with that? Yep. Ow. You are very rude, you know that? Okay, really gotta, as the kids say, lock in. That's the phrase, right? I don't know, I don't use TikTok. My mother does, and I just hear crap from her. Bugger. I'm not ending the episode till we get to, like, half of it. This is like 12 minutes of gameplay. No, no. We need like 15... I, I, I say 20 minutes, but normally do like 15 minutes. Ah, oh, God. Lighting the bonfire doesn't mean you rested at it. Hatred, 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 hatred. Well, oh well. There aren't really, like, rules I want to lay out or anything. Maybe I could, like, set up stupid challenges, like putting off doing the gargoyles for as long as I can. Like, I'll ring, uh, what's-her-name's bell? Quaylag's bell before the gargoyles. So that way I, like, one- I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, like, one-shot the gargoyles with, like, uh, Gwyn's lightning strike. That's something we should go for. It's gonna, that's gonna happen in, like, episode 17. Anyone who's looking into the channel without watching it is gonna be like, Episode 17 of Dark Souls, ringing the gargoyle's bell. Jesus, what has he been doing the whole time? Actually, it wouldn't even be episode 17. Like, I don't number my playthroughs. Most people would do, like... Episode 1, starting off. Episode 2, go, blah, 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 all the crap. But not me. I just have what's in the video as the title instead of having... Haha. <laughs> Here, yes, indeed. Instead of having, like, uh, numbered episodes. I don't know why I do that. Maybe it's to save time, because I like writing, like, long, detailed... Uh, things and YouTube irritatingly only gives you 100 characters to work with and like 
For I so I can't have it obviously Dark Souls remastered or like Detroit Become Human. That was one that I kind of struggled with because Detroit Become Human is like 30 characters, so that limited what I could do. Bom. I will be playing all of the Souls games on the channel. Don't worry. Not one after the other. That would be tiring and boring to watch, because there wouldn't be very much variety on Monday's game. But, like, eventually we'll play through them. I have not played... Okay, I've played Dark Souls 3 over and over and over again. Same challenge runs as Dark Souls 1. Hello. Ooh, that guy's got the halberd. I am forbidden from using the halberd, because it's not like a faith thing, and I can't edit it to be a faith thing. Also, it's just kind of cheap. Like, if I get the halberd, that would be really cool, but I'm probably not going to. Alright, I've rested at it, I'm going to give it the old college try, and then I'm just going to go up the tower and cheat. Hi. Bonk. And heavy hitter. Bonk. Oh. Youch. Oh! Two crit for you. Back up. Let's see if I can knock him off. I'll save a bunch of time. Come on, come on. Darn. Why did I say darn? I can swear on my own channel. I normally don't, but I can. So, damn. That's another irritating thing. It spawns you looking this way. You have to turn around. Anyway, time to run. Hello, goodbye. And he's following us. Why wouldn't he be? Uh, do I want to go to Havel? I do not want to go to Havel. Havel is stuck in a tower and the boss fight takes place on that tower. Do not walk off the edge, fool. Oh, hello. You're more persistent than I thought. So, uh, good for you, I guess. Gonna have to deal with trees and demons. But then we get a blacksmith. Hello. Please perish. Stop trying to teleport away. I'm not gonna help you. There we are. Give me my white titanite, please. Thank you. Kept hitting the Y button instead of uh, A. This is what playing several hours of Elden Ring does to you, which we will be getting to, but god, that's going to be a long play. It's going to be like 100 episodes. People are going to be sick of it. I may honestly, like... Okay, it's episode 50. Elden Ring's going to be t uh, put on ice for one playthrough now. Like, I don't want to play Elden Ring again until we finish another game. But that's, like, two years away. We don't have to worry about that for a long... Ow, while. Ow, okay. Wow. Thanks, man. Okay, this episode's getting longer, so power of editing, send us to the blacksmith. Or well, even the enemy's wedding? The only enemies at a wedding clamp are the in-laws. There we go. That's the Hi, you might want to do something about the giant electrical demon that's living in your basement, but hey, who am I to judge? Alright, yes. We are here now. Okay, rest at the damn thing, since apparently that's the only way to... Yeah. But, yeah, no. Just like I'm pretty sure the first episode, or first time we played Dark Souls. We're here in the Undead Parish. 
on the first episode instead of like the third like most people but i'm just that good uh okay thank you for watching good while it's already been a bad villain day Banana! oh great